Hi, I'm Becky Perez. Welcome to Amazing Science Lessons. I will be demonstrating a math activity. In this math activity, the children will explore a balance scale. This is a very important tool. This is a science tool because we use this tool to weigh things, to compare what weighs more and why, what weighs less. Also, provide uh, different types of, bana of bananas for children to weigh. Because we're going to allow children to see what weighs more and what weighs less. This is an inquiry-based thinking because children need to determine what happens. They are problem-solving. Not all children will be able to understand the reasoning, but this will help them explore by using different manipulatives. Since we are studying about bananas, it's an excellent time to explore with bananas. So here in front of me, I have different types of bananas. And of course, we have a balance scale that is a very important science tool because we use it to weigh things, to weigh, see what weighs less, what weighs more. Here we have the plain tame banana, we have the Cavendish banana, the Nino banana, and the red banana. And we're going to use this to weigh the bananas. So we begin, and we have to uh, make the children understand why things weigh more and why weigh less. So I'm going to place this banana here, and I'm going to place it in the container, and just let the children look at it and ask them, what happened? Why do you think that the container is on the table? What happened? Ask them that question. Why is this high and why is this low? And right, why do you think it happened? Why? Because it weighs more. It's heavier. So how can we make this balance be the same? Let's place another banana and compare. Did they make a change? No. Let's place another banana. Oh, wow. So again, we ask the children, which one weighs more? The yellow banana or the Cavendish banana or the two red bananas? What do you think? But don't tell them there's two. Let them think. You know, it's inquiry-based questions. What do you think? that when it falls, you explain to them when it falls down, when it's down to the table, it weighs more. Maybe because here we have two and here we have one and that they're learning that more, like, like when you compare number three to number four, four is more. So here we have two, here we have one. Okay, so here we have. So let's take another one. Let's take the smaller banana. Let's take one Nino banana. Okay, let's weigh it with one red banana. Of course, they're going to, now they're starting to see which one weighs more. Which one weighs less? The red banana weighs more, of course. The Nino banana because weighs less. Why? They're going to they're going to tell you that it's small. Okay, let's place another one. Maybe we put another one. You think it's going to weigh more? Ask them that. You think if we put another one, because when we have one, they know that two is more. Let's try it. Wow, it didn't change. The red banana is still, it weighs more. Okay, so that means that here we have two and one. Let's try another one. Wow, see how the children are learning that it has to do with weight more and less what weighs more what weighs less now we have three nino bananas and one red weighs more and less you see how how they're seeing this how they're able to see the difference be able to so let's try this big banana wow let's weigh this one we're gonna we're gonna try to lay it down like this of course they're gonna say this weighs a lot because it's big okay Let's try it with this one. Which one weighs more? 
they're going to say the big banana, which is the plantain banana. Okay, so they know that. Okay, let's try it with a red banana. Right, which one weighs more? They're going to say the yellow, because now they know that when, when the scale is, is touches the table, it weighs more. They have had a lot of practice with this. You have provided a lot of practice with them, a lot of time to be able to explore, to be able to try different types of things to explore with it, so they will understand what weighs more and what weighs less. Okay, why don't we try weighing the banana and the, the banana and the banana peel. And again, before you even start this activity, you can tell the children, let's wait, let's let's peel the banana. And let what do you think is going to weigh more? The banana or the banana peel? And of course, give them time to give you answers. And then let's weigh it. So we're going to go ahead and peel it. Peel the banana. Put it right here in front. We're going to Okay, so now here we have the banana and the banana peel. So you ask them, what do you think is going to weigh more? What do you think they're going to tell you? You think they're going to tell you that the banana weighs more or the peel? Think about it. Think about it. That's a good question. That's inquiry based. Probably they probably say the banana because they can see it. It's solid and this. And just by looking at it, you know what? In science, they've been holding it. They've been holding bananas. They've been holding banana pills. They probably already know which is heavier. So then, okay, let's go ahead and place, let's place the, the banana pill first, see what happens. Oh, wow. Okay, so now they know that it weighs. Okay, now let's try the banana. Wow, isn't that awesome? They see this, yep. The banana weighs more than the banana peel. And see what they're seeing? Isn't that just awesome what the children are starting to think? They're the higher level thinking that's going on, all the just inquiry based thinking. It's just problem solving, but they're just doing a fantastic job. Now, it's so important that you provide other things for them to, to weigh. So, let's try... Uh, exploring with other types of manipulatives like unifix cubes. There's just so many things. So now, why don't we why don't we use unifix cubes to determine how many unifix cubes will it take to, to weigh as much as the banana peels? So let's estimate. You can have them estimate. Let them think. Mm, let's say 20. So then you count with them. Say they'll tell you 20. So you count. So you put them. So you put the banana peel there and of course now they know that it's on the table, so let's see. It's it weighs. It's weighing there. So let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. 22, oh my gosh, 23, 24, 25, 26, wow. And you know what? You can go on, and but look, look what's happening. 26, 27, 28, oh my goodness, look, it took 28. That is awesome. What a great activity to do with the students. I mean, they can, you can just go on and on with this. This is a great activity to do with your children. You can leave this activity at the math center in any area in the room. Remember, the whole class is, should all be science-based, and this is what it's all about. This concludes the demonstration. Thank you. This is awesome.